Hello community! Today I want to show you what I just discovered. A new AI search engine you can control. Uh, beautiful! And you see what we have here? We have you code for coding, you write. So like our chat GPT, you imagine. We can create images from text prompts. Unbelievable! Start typing a search, introducing you chat. Talk to it here. So we enter chat. Chat. Okay, so what we have. So here we go. This theoretical framework combines classical field theory, special relativity, and quantum mechanics. Yes. Behavior of subatomic particles interaction with each other. Yes. Mathematical models explained how particles interact and the environment by exchanging force fields. Yes. Force field, electromagnetic, weak, strong forces, act on particle. Yes. Nature of particle spin statistics. Yes. Standard particle physics current accepted here of how particles interact. Yeah. You know what's nice that you have here now sources. It tells you, okay, the first sentence I have here from Wikipedia and the second uh, sentence or the third sentence is from the Lexica Britannica, quantum field theory, definition of facts, quantum field theory. Very nice. So what is unique you have here suddenly the sources where the information is extracted. Compare this to ChatGPT, which is not a search engine, but visibly here at first look, you.com is also a search engine like Google, and they have now this chat capability like ChatGPT here, and they are able to give you an answer, like here an abstract or an essay or whatever, and they have here the sources where the information is taken from. Very nice development. This is what I like. Ah, I can say past 24 hours anytime. Nice. Oh yeah, look, if you change the time, you get suddenly quantum physics, newscientist.com. Yeah, nice. And what was the other region? Okay, I go for all regions. This should not change anything, framework, mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics, product, quantum physics experiment, yes, yes, yes. Ah, CPT invariance, yes, nice, spin statistics, quantum field theory. And if I click on a link, I go directly to Wikipedia. This is a very nice one. Okay. Okay, something else. Explain. Uh, Historic uh, development of the European Union. Yeah, idea on the late uh, European coal and steel community. Yes, Treaty of Rome, correct. European economic communities. Yes, European atomic energy community. Yes, Maastricht Treaty. Yes. Euro as a common currency, yes. Amsterdam Treaty Integration Policy of Lisbon, yeah, wow! 27 member states, yeah, continues to grow. Now, this is a nice thing, and the history is the European Union, Europe.eu, so directly from the European Union, some resources. Nice, you know, I think the, the answer is convincing, but I also have sources where I can say, okay, I can check here with the sources that the system provides. This is a nice one. Ask me anything. The product is in beta and accuracy may be limited. Okay, yeah, beta. Nice. Anything else? Explain historic development of the European Union. I think this is it. Oh, wait a minute. Currently, the weather situation in the US. Explain a bomb cyclone. So here we go, explain a bomb cyclone. Wow, not bad. Look at this. A bomb cyclone is a large intensive mid-latitude storm that has lower pressure at its center, weather fronts, and an array of associated weather from blizzards to thunderstorms. It is defined as a storm whose central air pressure drops at least 24 millibars within 24 hours. Yes, I know this is true. Beautiful. Explosive cyclogenesis or bombogenesis. Yes, yes, bring together the wind. But look at this. 
the sources tell you that it's from the Washington Post from the 21st of December 2022. So this is just less than three days away the information that was fed into the chat, the U chat. And this is, I think, a fact that, for example, chat GPT, which has been trained on training data, that does not include actual events in 2022. But this, since being also a search engine, can include now in the chat uh, generation actual and new updated facts. Because I have said here, recency anytime. Beautiful. What is about recency, I say, the past 24 hours? Yeah, it's different. Look, it's different. Not, yeah. Miami News, CBS News, okay. Pay attention to forecasts and warnings issued by the National Weather Service and can take necessary precautions to ensure, ensure your safety. This is really, really nice. So, I do like UChat on the first glance, but of course I have to play around a little bit more. But what I want to show you is if I take this and I have here another application, this is right. And this is m even more like chat GPT. So we leave chat, we go to another application, right? I can say an essay, an email, a paragraph, a social media post, a blog, and an essay. Let's take an essay, choose a tone. Let's say professional. Uh, audience receiver. I can define my audience oh nice so as a general public explain a bomb cyclone right right new and now the system writes an essay about explain a bomb cyclone in a professional tone so this is interesting what will come up Bomb cyclone, an intense weather phenomenon that occurs when a storm's barometric pressure drops quickly and dramatically. This rapid drop in pressure causes the storm to rapidly intensify, leading to high winds, heavy rain, or snowfall. First coined by a meteorologist in 1980 after experienced several such storms along the east coast of North America. The most important factor of a bomb cyclone is its central low pressure area. This area must have at least 24 millibar degrees within 24 hours for it to be classified as one. When these conditions are met, wind speed can reach up to 50 miles per hour with gusts over 70 miles per hour. Additional temperatures will often fall drastically during these events due to cold air being drawn down from higher altitudes into lower ones, blizzard-like conditions over large areas of land. It is important for everyone living in the region prone to bomb cyclone to understand what they are and how dangerous they can be so appropriate precautions can be taken before any event strikes the local region community. This is really nice. Stay informed about upcoming storms through reliable sources like NOAA weather radio station which broadcast real-time updates on extreme weather conditions. Wow, this is really, really impressive. So. You can choose what you want to write. You can choose the intention, the professional tone, a friendly tone, a neutral tone, a persuasive tone. You can choose your audience and you have a clear prompt and it provides astonishing information. Wow, this is really, really nice. So as you can see here, you only have 10 writings left. If I'm not logged in, I'm not signed up, I just use this as a neutral user, but impressive. Now, let's look at code. What is code? Code. I uh, need something here, and I say import, I don't know, sentence transformers. Yes, here we go. And now with the code. Ah, you see here in the middle we have the web resources, Espert.net from the creator of Espert. Then we have here our Python package indexing. Then we have here Hugging Face. Nice. Hugging Face Sentence Transformer, how to install it. We have the quick start. We have two minutes instruction from medium.com. 
we have a code generation task description. Nice. Then we have GitHub. Then we have Stock Overflow. And accelerate refugging phase optimum, August 2022. Display more results. But look here at the right hand side. Also, I'm in code. UChat takes this prompt as an input, import sentence, transformers, and gives me an answer. Like chat GPT when you do coding exercise. To import the sentence transformer class from the sentence transformer library, yeah? Yeah, from sentence transformer import sentence. Yeah, correct, yes! Once you have imported the class, you can create an instance of the sentence class and use it to create sentence embeddings. Correct! And even they give you a snippet to copy. Nice! Now, this is amazing. So, if you have here now your text prompt, like import sentence transform is the problem. You get the web resources since u.com is a search engine. And in addition, uChat opens and gives you an explanation and instruction to story how you can use it. And you even have code snippets you can simply copy and paste to your Jupyter Notebook. Now this is nice, give this a try, have a look at this. What else we have? Imagine. Next one, imagine. Imagine, oh wow. Stable diffusion AI search to use artificial intelligence to generate an image. So here is a, a beautiful garden full of flowers at sunset. Let's see. Generating image. This is an image generator from Stable Diffusion. Nice. So, how long does it take? Two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, seven seconds, nine seconds, and ten seconds. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sign up for unlimited generations. Okay. Nice. Come on. A garden full of flowers at sunset. I'm okay. Can I download this? Yes. Describe the image to be generated. Now, this is nice. Okay. So, what you have? With you.com, at first glance, you have your classical uh, Google functionality, the internet resources. Then we have chat, where they tell you what to do. And you can have here, you are like in chat GPT. You have now UChat, but then you have specialized tools like UWrite, where you can write your essays, your paragraph, your social media post. Then you can do this with code, beautiful. Where UChat opens, you also have here the original publications from the internet. Sentence transformers, yeah! UChat now gives you a different answer, of course. You can use the following code from Sentence Transformers import, and then you also have the SBIRT model, Sentence Transformer, where you have a mini language model with six layers and version two. Nice! This is absolutely fascinating. So you can use it to write essays, code, and even generate images. And it is up and running, and I think it is based here, u.com, on a search engine like Google. Login, sign up, dark, safe search, moderate, strict, okay. Customize search, Slack channel, sentence transformers. Nice. Hey, they even give you here sentence embeddings, model and code sentences. Yeah, beautiful. So, I hope you enjoyed this a little bit. I think this is a real powerful alternative to chat GPT. It takes into consideration the sources where it creates here the chat conversation with you. It gives you really detailed information you can have if you go here to special write. The internet resources, you can write essays, you can write social media posts, neutral. Very nice application. I would suppose play around with this. This is a real interesting alternative and I think it's worth trying it out. Give it a first try, run it a little bit, play around with it and let as a community form a first opinion 
on this new application. I say thank you for listening and I see you in my next video.